friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my July favorites from skincare, beauty, to random, because I love sharing some random favorites. So let's go ahead and jump in. I wanna start out with skincare. So a lot of you guys know this, but I'm 28 years old, and I'm at the time when I have to really consider, like, you know, my anti-aging skincare routine, my under the eye especially is really showing like when I smile I kind of get like a little bit of wrinkling going on which really sucks but you know that's just part of aging but in the meantime I'm gonna do things that will help decrease the likelihood of wrinkling and just dark circles underneath my eye and I was given the opportunity to try this out by the Janu company and this is the Janu active youth system and I use this for my eyes and on my lips and it really has helped with my eyes like my eyes look less tired and also it really like moisturizes and hydrates my underneath the eye area and you can see results as quick as two weeks but it actually took me longer than a month to see results it all depends on you know the person and how your skin reacts to things but the Janu device is an ultrasound device I think it's like one of the first and I always like trying new devices because I'm really into trying like new beauty devices it's just really fun to see if it works or not and this is definitely been working for me but like again I said it does it, it did take me longer to see results and what I do is for the eye I use the Janu active youth eye treatment I just put like a pea size actually half a pea size on the eye wand and then I turn it on I press this button and then I rub underneath my eyes and after a minute it will do this little vibration it goes like you'll feel it and then it'll turn off and that means you're done and then you pretty much do the same thing. You put more of the Janu Active Youth Eye Treatment with Microsphere technology on your Janu wand and then you do the next eye and then it'll do it'll like do that height that um vibrating sound and then it'll turn off and then after that I use a baby wipe to cleanse the product from the eye and then I continue on with my lips because I have really really wrinkly lips really small lips and what the lip treatment does it's called the Janu Active Youth Lip Serum with Microsphere technology what I do is I put it on directly on my lips or you could put it on the wand doesn't matter and then I pretty much a rub the Janu wand all over my lips and I like it because it feels warm and I feel like my lips are so hydrated and afterwards I look at my lips and it looks fuller. I don't know how it does it but I've been doing it every single day and I've noticed a dramatic result. And also this Janu wand has a um, plug-in or you can use a USB to charge it and I just use, usually just plug it in into my wall in the bathroom that way it reminds me to use it and the Janu wand is actually an ultrasound technology and it allows your product to get in your skin 12 times more and it helps with wrinkling I actually need a couple more months for the wrinkling but what I notice the most is the smooth um, hydration underneath and no dark circles. And it says it's also supposed to even out your skin tone, but I think I need a little bit more time to see that. But overall, I have been really liking this. And if you guys are interested, I'll have a 20% off code down below. I was given this product to try and I honestly like it and I don't talk about anything I don't like. So this is the truth and I definitely recommend it for the girls who definitely want some anti-aging because you know, I'm getting Getting older and I want to really take care of my skin and I always get compliments like oh my gosh like when people find out how old I am they're all like oh my gosh you look so young and I think it's because I'm really trying to take care of my skin and I'm figuring out what works and Janu is definitely working for me and let's go ahead and move on to some other beauty favorites let me just go ahead and grab whatever I see oh my gosh you guys I have been obsessed with a Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Powder Foundation. I'm wearing it right now and I feel like it makes my skin look so airbrushed and nice and it's so lightweight. Like it's been a very long time since I use a powder foundation on a regular basis. This is like my everyday makeup routine. I use the Tarte brush. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you get the Tarte foundation, you have to get the brush with it because it's so soft and it just, I just love it and look at me I'm just crazy you know how I do I always talk and apply the makeup that I'm talking about all the time it just leaves like a really soft focus airbrush finish and it's made of powder I mean like the coverage is amazing I'm just so impressed with it 
I am just beyond obsessed. The color that I got is a shade too dark. If you guys notice, I have to blend it into the neck. The one that I have is medium to tan skin with yellow undertones. I picked it because I have yellow undertones, but I think I might get a shade lighter, but I like looking tan in the summer, so it's no big deal to me. I definitely recommend the foundation and the brush together. Like you have to get it together because, oh my gosh, this brush is so soft. Another favorite for the month of July would be my Costa Rica trip. I had so much fun. I went zip lining. I had the best mahi mahi I've ever tasted. It was an amazing experience with my husband. If you guys are interested in seeing some vlogs from Costa Rica, I have a vlog channel with my husband. It's called April Justin TV. I would love for you guys to check that out. And moving forward, I also got some eyelash extensions before I went to Costa Rica because I didn't want to like worry about my makeup and do a lot of eye stuff. So I didn't even wear mascara for a long time. Like I think almost a month I didn't wear mascara. It's because of the eyelash extensions and I googled up the best LA eyelash extensions person and I yelped it and Mickey Bay kept popping up and so I scheduled an appointment online with her and I went and got eyelash extensions for the first time. My lashes were so, so full. When I went and got a refill, I asked for a C curl, which was super curly and my lashes, oh my God, they were so full. And the refill was 85 and then the, the first time you go is 200 and I went to Mickey Bay because she was the person who I googled and everyone said she's awesome. If you guys want eyelash extensions too, check her out if you're in the Southern California area. And my my actual, actually my eyelashes have fallen off or most of the extensions. And I'm actually gonna be testing out the Smart Lash Eyelash Serum. So I'm not gonna go back anytime soon. And I also recently moved, so I have a lot of catching up to do with work and stuff. But definitely, if you guys like eyelash extensions or you're curious, you have a special occasion, Go to Mickey Bay. I'm not sponsored by her. I just really love her work and I'll link her down below. And to be honest, I only bought this because there was an attached Nivea lip butter in it. I know, how crazy am I? But I just love the lip butters. But I started using this lotion and it just smells so good. It leaves my skin so soft and it's supposed to firm your skin in two weeks. I don't know about that though because I've been using it for a month now and my skin still doesn't feel firm. So I'm gonna just wait it out and see. But even if it doesn't firm my skin, I still like it because it's so moisturizing and it smells so good and oopsie sorry I'm dropping stuff. another thing that I've been actually using for the last week is this Bridget eyelash primer oh my gosh I love primers so this is from the I'm a Moco site I, I have a 10% off code for you guys in the info box anyhow what I do is I like applying this primer before I apply mascara because it will grab onto my lashes it will volumize it a little bit and uh, add a little bit of length and then I wait for that to dry and then when I apply mascara my lashes look fuller and longer and that's like the trick that I have been using for like at least seven years ever since I was like in high school I've been doing this all throughout college I was doing this I definitely recommend a good primer and this is one of the best I've tried and it's called Bridget and by the way I link everything in my info box like everything like my outfit I'm wearing um everything in my favorite so check out the info box for everything you need to know and what else i'm just like looking through like the table to see i flippin love this brush it's a mali beauty blush brush it's so fluffy it applies the perfect amount of blush and i just love it i've been loving this highlighter from hourglass cosmetics it is called ambient lighting powder and i got my color in dim light oh my gosh you guys it is such a beautiful highlighter and it's not like those ugly shiny ones that like make your face look like a disco ball. It's just like a soft focus highlighter. Let me go get a brush actually, cause you guys know how I am. I always love to do, like I like to put on my makeup. It just looks so good. And I have like a close up demo and it just makes your face pop. You just highlight anywhere you want to highlight and it's just gorgeous. And it's not like, there's not a lot of fallout. You guys, I don't even know what to say. I'm just obsessed with it. I definitely recommend it. It is a little, you know, a, a little bit more expensive than a typical drugstore product because it's high end, but it is something that I definitely want to splurge on another color. I've been obsessing over this lip color by Tarte. It's the Tarte Complexion Brightening Lipstick and the color I have is Fair to Light. They have one for medium skin tones. I know my skin tone is medium to tan, when I tried the fair to light I love the color so much that I got it because the color is like the most perfect nude and it's like two different colors the first color is like red in the middle and then the outside color is like a beige look at me again I'm putting on lipstick I don't know why I have to do that when I talk about it 
but you guys the color is gorgeous it's like the most beautiful nude color i've ever seen and it's so moisturizing and tart packaging is amazing for a bath product i've been really obsessing this green tea scented exfoliator oh my gosh you guys it is the best smelling exfoliator i don't know what it is even in last month i mentioned a green tea scented something i just really love the smell of green tea and i just love this it's called keiki's body scrub in the scent green tea the scrub is so fine and i use it for my hands i use it for my my arms i honestly use it on my butt like a lot i you know you guys know me i'm tmi but when i rub it on my butt i feel like it helps exfoliate it because i have cellulite there and i also put it behind the thighs where i have cellulite and i feel like exfoliating that area will kind of smooth the skin area you know so i definitely recommend it and again it's called cakey's and it's green tea it smells so good last but not least if you guys follow me on facebook i definitely recommend you do because i love interacting with you guys there well, on Facebook, I asked you guys what bag I should buy you guys for a future giveaway. And I gave you guys the option of a Rebecca Minkoff, the black bag, like the mini mat. And then I also gave you guys the option of a Tory Burch and a Michael Kors. The majority of you guys voted for a Michael Kors. So I went and bought it for you guys. It is a gorgeous bag. It's brown and it's brand new. It still has the receipt. I bought it online and it came right away. I bought it from the Zappos website. And it's got the Michael Kors tag, and it has a zipper, and it still has, oh, and you also get the Michael Kors bag, you know, the dust bag inside. Brand spanking new, you guys. I bought it just for you. I kind of want to keep it. It's so cute. Look, you guys. It's big enough for, like, back to school. It's gorgeous and it's got a zipper so like you can keep your books inside and don't have to worry about it falling like a tote that doesn't have a zipper. The giveaway for this Michael Kors bag is going to be on August 16th so I want you guys to put that on your calendars, come back on August 16th and check out the video and it's going to be filled with a bunch of makeup like Benefit, Urban Decay and It Cosmetics, The Bomb, just a bunch of stuff is going to be inside so I hope you guys tune in for the giveaway and it's going to be a lot of winners so check that out. And what else do I have? That's pretty much it. If you guys want to check out my cooking channel, it's called Cook with April and this is my new kitchen and our new house and I'm really excited to be filming some cooking videos. I know I haven't filmed cooking videos in a while. It's because of the move, but I'm gonna get right back to it and have so much fun cooking with you guys. And definitely check out my vlog, April Justin TV. I would love to see you there. And thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and if you guys are excited for the giveaway for the Michael Kors bag, thumbs up. Please comment, rate, and if you haven't, subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.